Hello, here we are again talking about React and Redux. In the last video, we set up our reducer. So we've got a reducer here that's going to handle an increment and a decrement action. Okay, so we're almost there. We got actions, we got reducers. We need to do one more step on the reducer. So whenever you have reducers, we have to combine them into a like a combined reducer because we can make a reducer for any piece of state. And so we can have multiple pieces of state or we can have state that's responsible for different areas of our program and it's all held in the store, okay? Um, so let's, let's make that right now. Um, I'm gonna make a new file in the reducers folder here and it will be it'll be the index file. And what I want to do is I want to import um, combine reducers from um, React Redux. Or no, actually this is just from Redux, my mistake. Right, yeah, so we're just gonna get combine reducers from Redux. And then the other thing I wanna do is I wanna get the reducer here. I only have one reducer, but if I had more than one, I'd import all my reducers and then combine them, right? So I'm gonna import my reducer that I had here, which was um, counter reducer. It was this guy from, uh, it's in the same folder here, so I can just say from uh, counter reducer, right? And uh, yeah, and I guess I only those are the only reducers I have, so that's all I need. And then my next step is to export the combined reducers. Okay, so we're going to use this combined reducers function to export um, the combined reducers. So we're going to say export um, default um, combine reducers. And what we return here is an object. So I've just created you know an object literal. And the, the values that I put in here, the key is the, is the key that we'll get state from. So we'll end up with state for this key and state for some other key, right? Okay, and the value right here for state is the reducer that handles the value stored at this key. So, you know, for example, if I have a count, I might put the count as the key and then the counter reducer is the reducer that we put at that key to handle this state. So whenever we look at the store and we ask for the count, then we'll get the count at this key and, and the counter reducer will handle setting the count for that key, okay? So if we had another piece of state that was like, um, like a user, then we might have like a user piece of state here that was maybe handled with the user reducer, okay? So there we go. I know it's a little it's a little weird the first time you see all this, okay? But don't worry, we're gonna come back and we'll we'll go through the whole process beginning to end after we get this after we get it the basic system working, right? So anyway, so we're gonna combine reducers and we're going to um, set a key for the store and assign a reducer to handle values for that key, okay? So there we go. So uh, I'll save that and we'll just stop there at combine reducers. And then our next step is to actually make a component and connect it to the store, right? Um, oh, actually, actually too, we have to make a provider and, uh, and set up the store. So, so we got two more steps and then I think we'll be, we'll be um, functional, right? Okay, so thanks for watching and then I'll continue in the next video.